Hey man, say man, it's your boy Dallas and I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I'm reacting to Kevin Samuels' Savage Moments. Let's get into the video. I guess he has like trust issues with women or whatnot, <clears throat> so I'm like sharing my location with him just to make him feel comfortable. So. Are you, are you in therapy? Yeah, I'm in therapy. Yeah, I'm just like trying to figure out how to make him feel comfortable. Two weeks into it. Right. It's too much proving to do. You're not his, you're not his wife. I'm just being nice and being like, it's hey, not being, hey. no, it's not, no, no, it's not being nice. It's being a people pleaser. That's not normal. That's not normal. You want to be nice? All right, let's go out a couple of times. I need you to be $10,000. Be nice. <laughs> oh, be, be nice. Be no. nice. Come on, be nice. I mean, come on, be nice. I need $10,000. We need to go ahead and run a soul train on. Be nice. No. Yes. Of course. So you so so there are things that sound crazy to you. <laughs> that is yes. so yes. trained. Sharing crazy. your location with somebody you've gone out with twice is crazy. Okay. Only twice? What are you doing? I give myself a solid nine point eight. Being pretty is not enough for a lot of men because I'm pretty and I'm still single. So, what do you want? I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really don't know what I want because these men they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want women. Mm. And you said you're how old again? Thirty three. Thirty three. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want. I mean, I know what I want, but... Well, what is that? <laughs> Guys, remember the first thing I said about Ikeno? They're not willing to be honest. Be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I want to do again. Like, I've been screwed and fucked for so long, I don't know what I want to do again. <laughs> just in this little bit of time talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the story you told the story Excuse me. Is, yeah, you can't make this shit up, people. Just to let you know, I have to go you can probably make me 60. Sarcastic. The 360 puts you right back where you were, but I understand what you're saying. I made a lot of money. I found the Lord, and uh, I got a man that's got money now. Mm -hmm. You found the Lord? Yeah. Where'd you find him at? I know he was lost. I didn't know where the Lord was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because all I saw was last four months, right? Okay. Three months, four months. Yeah. It's a lot of changing in three or four months. You said you got a man that has money now. Yeah. I do. I just wanted to let you know also, I wear my bonnet in, in, in public. I saw I saw what you had to say about that. You know, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, you like, I... Hmm? At the same time, you what? Did you tell me shut up? No, no, no. I said, go ahead. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time, I just don't see what the issue of wearing a bond in the public is. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I got married, but I don't want to be. You got married? <laughs> that means that you didn't make this shit. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you got to kid me. Bam. You telling me? She wants to get her ex back, but she's married. What kind of, what type of stuff? Actually talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value or not. But like... And the reason you want to break your covenant with God and wreck your home with the pipe fitter guy is because the previous guy was higher value meaning you earn more money yeah and his social status how he looks what would the world say about that man? it would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted she belongs to the streets Belongs to the streets. You're right, right, right. Yeah. Um, excuse my French. Niggas alone, they always gonna take me to court. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It means that it's like when I break up from with a guy, I go through divorces because they can't take me leaving them in the dust, in the dust, while I left them. Mm -hmm. Does that make 
ain't no F right now. So I have to move on. Is that right? Do you think that that's right of them? Why are you so? Why are you? Why are you such a poor judge of character to pick me and you gotta leave? Well, now, I just, oh damn! No, oh damn! Wait. Why are you such a poor judge? No, ma'am. I know, ma'am. I listened to what you said. You came in talking about how you feel like you in divorce court because you gotta leave these men in dirt. And all I hear is you a shit judge of character picking men because you don't leave quality men. You absolutely right. So God, please stop sending me. That's what, no, no, God ain't got nothing to do with it. No, God ain't got nothing to do with it. Please don't bring my God into this. Facts. He can have that's, that's her problem. And he was unaware of that. So I like immediately divorced him because children was the outcome Ooh. that I wanted to have. Ooh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Mm. It was terrible, but... But like I told him from the beginning, like I wanted, I got married so we could have children. And then he found out he couldn't have children after we got married. So now I am actively looking. Karma's a bitch. How do you know you're going to be able to carry children to turn? Exactly. I know. That's what I, I do know that. It, it is. I'm not. It, it is. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking seriously. Man, this is not really a value judgment as much as I'm just trying to hold the mirror up to you because you say this shit, the shit you say to people around you, and they let you believe this stuff. I'm telling you, somebody who got no dog in a fight. <laughs> this man is. How old This man, bro. How you find hey, bro, it's tough. Bro. Play in all types of um, arenas. I work in those arenas. I work in all of those. Okay, how about this? Do me a favor. Okay. Uh, talk to me like I'm four or a cocker Spaniel, because you're not really saying anything. <laughs> yeah, what is she talking about? Can you send you the home again? I will let you guess. That, I, don't, that's I, don't, I, don't, I don't play this game. So you need to answer my questions or I'll bid you a good night. 43. Okay. One thing I don't do is I don't do these things. Yes, I don't know you, so you can give me we all know this. Keep going. Well, then, well, I will say this though: you gone from thirty-five to forty-three, just like that. That's amazing. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Okay. I don't like the writers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the writers. <laughs> 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 Who is best today? Not so what is her age then, bro? Oh my gosh. Aside from everything, Kevin. That's what you need to start telling these people. A title, you know. No, I need. I need to. What I need to do is I need to direct people to this video and show you what's wrong. You don't need to put a title on nothing. It needs to just be free flowing. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and over here, stuff works. Where you at? It don't. You don't need to put a title on everything. You can have. You can have. You can have babies out of wedlock. You need to be married. You can do what you want. Most women be doing that. Putting but titles on. Like that. That's why you gotta take power back from these mindsets. <sighs> have you ever opened up something at the building that came with instructions? Of course. And it came with parts. Of course. The way you're talking is you just start doing shit. You don't need the instructions. You don't need that. Just start putting shit together. Uh huh. <laughs> you wanna live on the fifth floor of a building like that? You got me sweating, Kevin. I'm going to leave. Mm -hmm. I got to go. <laughs> oh, can't handle so it. Yeah, it's tough. Um, like a year ago, it was cashier. Okay. And I, was it an injury or something? No. So no, just, just I, was, I was fired for being late. So you're just lazy? No. No. It was, so just I, I was late. I see that. Trust. Thank you. Did you do those yourself? No. Did you look kind of done? Mm-hmm. Who paid for that? I paid for them. With what? With the unemployment money. Are you trolling me? No, but I can't believe you have to look like something. Girl, I think you need to, I think you need to grow up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If you were a, if you were a man, they would call you a deadbeat. But the only reason you get away with this is you got two kids yeah. and you get on employment so that you could escape. Mm -hmm. And you have never to have these fingernails up like you got money to pay for them. <laughs> There's a football player, Brian Banks. He spent five years in jail. 
The woman who accused him of lied about it. She got two million dollars in some sort of settlement or something. Two million? Then she was found out to be lying. Video evidence proof her confessing that she made the entire thing up. And she served one day in jail. But nope. So when they lock your son up, take his rights, ruin his life, life, not his food. Because once that's out there, it's there forever. It never goes away. No. I mean, right. I don't think my son would ever be in that situation. I'm just saying. I want you guys to understand what she just said. I raised my son right. I don't think he'd ever be involved in that situation. You mean involved with a vindictive lying woman? Yeah. Do you live in the United States of America? Yes, I do. Holy shit, that's out there. <laughs> man, this is going to have to go, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It, it's the truth. You have a three-year-old who's a cancer survivor, and you're about to go out and put her off on a, not your mother, but your mother's mother. She's in her, like, 80s right now. I mean, I'm, I'm happy, like, you're actually talking to me about this because I would never know, like, if this is not okay or not. What is so goddamn important that you got to get out to drop a three-year-old with an 80-year-old? Honestly, nothing. Like, I was, like, I was honestly just trying to go out and, like, you know, I have a good... Go off scene. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> treating you the way that you feel like you should be treated or how you deserve to be treated. So it's always good to have a backup plan. But I'm not saying have a backup plan. Cause you should be faithful to me in all ways, no matter what. Uh, okay, have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? I don't know, we're gonna play that shit. You know how that goes. Oh, okay, yeah, I have. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna play that shit. No, I'm playing that snarky ass comedy. No, I don't play that snarky comedy. No, but, no. Uh, okay, okay. So here's the thing. Okay, you, no, 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 no. Same thing as last time I went last week, I was drinking. Uh, yeah, okay. Last notice. I'm gonna answer your question. I'm going to respond to your statement. All right, go ahead. If you're saying a man is not treating you right, get another man. But the thing is... No, 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 because because if I flipped it up and saying if your woman ain't doing what you want to and I told a man to go out and get some more ass, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> you don't worry about You don't have to ask the guy the kind of money he has because the men you typically date are older and have money. Yeah, but I think, I mean, in general, but my, like... But my point is, me and your age wouldn't have standing chance with you because they most don't have money. Thank you. Right. But I'm, I mean, to each their own, everyone is different. I think right. that... Each is, our, each is our, everybody's different. We're more alike than anything else. And the bottom line is this. Uh, would you like to be married one day? Yes. Okay. Um... Are you going to be submissive, submissive and obedient to your husband? There she goes. You can't make this shit up, people. You can't make it up. Why are you and your? Why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with? He wasn't good enough for me. Well, then that's your. Okay, so what I need you to understand. He wasn't good. <laughs> on the open day. Why did you get what I'm doing? You come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that one says she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her, a baby. Sorry, ma'am, don't get upset because- I agree with that. But if you agree with it, then understand I agree there's with a reason. Word, but I also want to say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in yes, my life but, because. Well, okay, I'm you, oh, yeah, you are. But you, you are. Stop. No, yeah, you are. But we don't have to. I'm understand. Going so going listen, to listen, 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 listen. Yeah. You are. But the world does not owe you understanding. Mm. So that's that. I cheated a lot in the beginning. Then mm. I ended up leaving him. He cheated once. And I couldn't. Um, get over it and i haven't been able to get a solid relationship since then child with him and then the child after him it was, the child after him was like a revenge thing i was upset and, and i had a child by his cousin 
Oh, Jesus. My question is, I'm trying not to be salty towards, like, all men. And I'm trying why to... Should you, why should you be salty? I mean, man, no disrespect, but what you just said is you told a story where you were a young woman dealing with a man, and for 10 years, you were fucking around. He cheats one time, no, and he no, dies. No, not the whole 10 years. Not the doesn't whole matter. Ten it doesn't matter. 10 years, 3 years, and 5 years, you were cheating a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he cheats one time, then you decide to get salty and leave, and then on the way out, you screw his cousin and have a baby with him. Well, it's not mm -hmm. like his blood. And... Oh, man, my God. Right, oh, what? Uh, that's... <laughs> Bro, what is going on with these women, boy? I tell you, boy. Woo! Already. You know what I'm saying? But, um, if y'all made it to the end of the video, it make sure y'all like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.